All right, this is grade four, module two, lesson five, and we're going to be using a bunch of tape diagrams, you know, those bar model things, in order to solve these multi-step word problems. So, Jose, Jose's vase can hold up to 2,419 milliliters of water, and he poured one liter 299 milliliters of water into an empty vase, and then he added um, 398 milliliters. How much more water will the vase hold? So we've got a big old vase, and I'm going to draw that model right here. All right, and so far we know that it can hold 2,419 milliliters. And he's poured in 1 liter, 299 milliliters. Now, we don't know exactly how much, that what that looks like, but we could just say this is good enough. So that's 1 liter, 299 milliliters. And then we're told he adds another 398 milliliters. So 398 milliliters. And then the question is, how much more will the vase hold? And there we go. So our strategy, uh, we're going to probably add these two portions together. And then to figure out the missing piece way over here, we're going to use subtraction. So let's do that. So let's begin by adding... Uh, 1 liter, 299 milliliters, and we're going to add 398 milliliters, and we're going to add units to units, right? So here's the milliliter. You can't add a, a milliliter and a liter because they're not the same units, so we want to make sure we're adding units to units. And that's a 17 carry the 1. 1 plus 9 plus 8 is 19, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, so we have 697 milliliters. And right here, we have just 1 liter left over here, so that's 1 liter, 697 milliliters. So that is right here. So this is 1 liter, 697 milliliters. Now, in order to figure out our missing section right here, we need to subtract 2,419 milliliters from 1 liter 659 milliliters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of turn all of these things into just plain old milliliters. So we have 2,419 milliliters. And then we're going to subtract. Well, that one liter is equal to a thousand milliliters plus the extra 697 milliliters. So now we can subtract. Nine minus seven is two. One minus nine we can't do. So we're going to borrow from that four. That becomes a three, and the one becomes an 11. We've regrouped. 11 minus 9 is 2, and then 23 minus 16, we can just jump that. We don't have to borrow or anything. We can just look at 23 minus 16, and we get 7. And so the answer is 722 milliliters. So how much more water will it hold? Will the vase hold? The answer is 722 milliliters. And our last example for this video, a Springer Spaniel weighs 20 kilograms, 490 grams. A Cocker Spaniel weighs 7,590 grams less than the Springer Spaniel. And a Newfoundland weighs, and I'm going to do this in blue for some reason, a Newfoundland weighs 52 kilograms 656 grams more than the Cocker Spaniel. 
And the question is, what is the weight difference in grams between the Newfoundland and the Springer Spaniel? So for this tape diagram, I see three subjects. I see the Springer Spaniel, the Cocker Spaniel, and the Newfoundland. So we've, I'm going to label those Springer Spaniel, Cocker Spaniel, and Newfoundland. And I'm going to begin by drawing the same bar for each of them. And now I'm going to modify those bars according to the problem. So it says a Springer Spaniel weighs 20 kilograms, 490 grams. So that means I can just plain old label that one. That's 20 kilograms and uh, 20 kilograms and 490 grams. All right. And then it says a Cocker Spaniel weighs 7,590 grams less than the Springer Spaniel. So that means I need to subtract. So I need to take off 7,000, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, 7,000, 7, what was it? 590, 7,000. 590 grams less. All right. And that means we don't know, oops, that means we don't know what this part is. And then it says a Newfoundland weighs 52 kilograms, 656 grams, so that's right here, more than the Cocker Spaniel. So whatever the Cocker Spaniel ends up weighing, that's right here, boom, 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 right here. Whatever the Cocker Spaniel ends up weighing, we need to add on to that, so I'm going to do it in red, add on to it an extra 52 kilograms, 656, 656, grams to the Cocker Spaniel. There you go. And then the big question is, what's the difference between the Newfoundland and the Springer? The, yeah, the Springer Spaniel. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of steps on this problem. So let's get working on this. So the first thing we're asked to do is we need to figure out the, the weight of the Cocker Spaniel. So that means we're going to subtract these two numbers but in order to do that, we need to have like units. Up here, we have mixed units. Down here, we have just grams, and we need to ha subtract. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert everything to like units. So I'm going to turn this 20 kilograms into 20,490 grams, and we're going to subtract 7,590 grams. And that's going to tell us the Cocker Spaniel. So 0 minus 0 is 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. And then 4 minus 5 we can't do. So I'm going to borrow from the 2. It becomes a 1. The 0 ends up being a 9. And then we have 14. So I did a little, a little shortcut there. Make sure you might have to pause the video and figure out how I did what I just did. And then 14 minus 5 is 9. 9 minus 7 is 2, and 1 comes straight down to 1, and we've got 12,900 grams. So that tells us that the Cocker Spaniel weighs 12,900 grams. And that means this bar down here is also 12,900 grams, and I'm going to label it G. And so now we need to figure out how much uh, does the Newfoundland weigh? So I'm going to, we need to add these two numbers together. So I'm going to convert the, gram, uh, the 52 kilograms right here into grams. So that means I'm going to get 52,656 grams. 
and we're going to add to that the 1,000, I mean, the 12,900 grams. If we add those together, 6 and 0 is 6, 5 and 0 is 5, 6 and 9 is 15, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So we get 65,556 grams, and that's how much that Newfoundland weighs. That thing is huge. 65,000 556 grams. All right, and now the question says, what is the difference between the Springer Spaniel right here and the Newfoundland? All right, so, that, so I have to remember that the Springer Spaniel, I'm going to convert that into grams. That's 20,490 grams. And I need to subtract that from whatever the Newfoundland weighs, and it's off my screen. So I'm going to write that down real quick. So 20,490. So I'm going to scroll down. 20,490. And we're subtracting that from the Newfoundland, which is 65,556. And these are grams. I just want to make sure I said that right. Yep, 20,000. I couldn't quite remember that number. So 20,490 grams. Here we go. This answer. This is going to be it. So 6 minus 0 is 6. 5 minus 9, we got to borrow. So that becomes a 4. That becomes a 15. 15 minus 9 is 6. 4 minus 4 is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. 6 minus 2 is 4. So that's 45,066 grams, and that is our answer, but we need to make sure. Do they want us to answer it in, yep, whew, look at that. They want us to answer in grams, and that's exactly where I am right now. So the final answer is 45,066 grams is the difference between the Newfoundland and the Springer Spaniel. And that is using tape diagrams to solve multiple step word problems. That's grade four, module two, lesson five.